Good morning, Trader Nerds. Hope you're having a great, great, great day so far. Apologize for the short notice on going live. It's probably going to be like this through the end of the year because of this Christmas schedule and everything. And it's just a weird time with all kinds of events I got going on. So I uh, apologize for short notices and not giving you plenty of time to when we're going live. We try to keep it the same every day, but it doesn't work that way sometimes. Well, looky here. We're up another half a percent. Well, I'll be dead. How about that? We're over the overnight high. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So I was looking at our linear regression chart that we hadn't looked at in a while. Look at yesterday, y'all. Look where it popped at the top. And uh, then it just uh, come back down, and now it's going back up to the top. Very, 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 very interesting. Now watch this. We know, do we have momentum? Uh, look at the green volume bar. Then look at yesterday's update. Volume increasing. See this? So it'll be interesting to see what happens on volume today to see if this little move upward has any momentum behind it. Our big green monster is uh, would probably tell us that, you know, we're going to tap the upper level high 40083. But I still think price wants to come in here and explore these uh, areas, right? I believe we want to explore in here so you know uh, who knows but the good thing is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter all right so here we are today market's up uh so our account should be up right when the market is up you and i should keep the premium that we sell that's what we should do so let's see how we're doing oh by the way if you are any of our youtube gang out there and y'all are uh, you know, throwing these little insults at me on the thing. You know what I'm doing? I'm deleting your little comments and I'm blocking you from commenting again. That's what I'm doing. You know why? Because I don't need your negativity. And But I always want to address what you say. So yesterday someone says, you're telling me you're still, uh, you hadn't recovered your beginning losses, blah, 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 since April. You know, I don't need that garbage. Listen. The accounts are up on the one 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 two. I don't have to explain myself to anybody, but I will. We know that we were doing the aim and the hedge fund is excellent adventure. I say it time and time again. That's what caused the uh, net lit to go down. Now we are well on our way to recovery. So y'all take that. So you know, I sit there and I said I can leave negative comments, but you know I don't need your negativity. I don't need negativity. I'm a positive person. I am Bobby, sweet Bobby Gaines, by gosh. I don't need negativity. <sighs> and this is my like fourth day or fifth day off Adderall. So, because Beth won't let me take it because she thinks it gives me road rage. So, anyway. So, I don't know if I'm a little more tasty now than normal. All right, so let's see how we're doing in our little tasty attempt today. Since everybody's like, have you noticed his net lit keeps going down? No, it's going up, you freaks. All right, look, 35,387 to 37,218. That's up $1,830, you moron, from October the 13th. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But I'm probably lying about that. I'm, I'm, hey, I admit my losses. 37,271, 281.7. I admit it, but by gosh, how many times do we get to play the Jets? You know, it's almost like these people on Facebook or YouTube are like your mother in law, right? You're never good enough for their daughter. You know, you're just never good enough. And so they always just kind of. Just always just picking at you. 16 and 65. God rest my mother in law so. But we remember she's the one that wanted to call the cops on me. She's the one that almost cut my throat at a Easter gathering with a butcher knife. Uh, I mean, you know, hey, we had our moments. 16 and 62. Now everybody will be throwing the the little, what did we say this was yesterday? Is it 25 or 22? 12 or 2? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's in the 20s, right? 
Let's see if my thing is working today. What's the VIX today, Bob? VIX is 22. All right, so it's 22 today. Remember, you got to do it manually or it won't. Um, all right. 11006 is my buying power usage. 11006. Look at us, y'all. We're looking so good. 11006. Da 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 da. 29%. Oh, be still my heart. How can I not keep enough gas in the tank? Well, I got enough gas in the tank. Now, I know some of you are going, hey, Bob, something's going on with them, with them nuts. Um, out in the, let's see, OB1, I was about to go flat, almost there. I have 250 exchange values left in this one account. Okay, good. You got the power. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If I was cussing you at your home, you'd be right throw me out. Exactly, Ken. Exactly, right? Can't fight stupid Bobby. What do you mean? They don't call me stupid. You can't fight stupid Bobby. Unbelievable. Ed, if you put a comma there, okay, there's his comma. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> you, people, you can't fight the stupid Bobby. Uh, I just rolled out of bed, too. I'm just sitting I sit there. I said, I'm going live in a few minutes, and I hit the alarm clock snooze button. That's how bad of a day it is so far. All right. But the problem is, I didn't sleep well the night before, so I took like three Benadryl for it in bed last night. Plus, I took, don't tell Beth. I took four melatonin gummy bears last night. So I really like wrecked myself a little bit. All right. So what were we doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this account, we got plenty enough theta. We got, you know, we're not using all the buying power that we can. You know, what would old sweet Bob do here? Well, we got those FOMC minutes coming out. Who gives a real? I'm trading. So let's put on another, what you say. So let's go out like we did yesterday, with the Turbo 112, which I'm sure that video's blowing up the internet now because anytime you call something different, I've noticed I get more tons more views. And I don't do that just to, you know, to get tons more views because I don't want to brag, but my little YouTube channel is making me about $100 a month now. I know, that's big money, y'all. So uh, whoever thought you could make money off of YouTube, I really thought it was a farce. And here I am now, you know, making $100 a month. It's unbelievable. Only in America, man. Only in America. So let's go down and do this 3750 3800 Do that for $10. No, I'm, in, I'm doing the wrong one, aren't I? Sorry. Hold on. Y'all, I'm a little foggy today. So we're going to go out to the 76 days. That's where I want to go, 77, 76, whatever it is. And we're going to sell one for about $15. Look at the one we sold for $15 yesterday. Now it's at $13. How cool. So let's sell two. And then remember, me and Ken are really greedy, SOB, so we like to collect a little more. So I may go here. That's an eight delta. All right, seven delta, 8% probability men in the money. I like that. Let's do this one. 3,400, nice, even number. Let's see if we can get $16 out of this. Oh, yeah. All right. So it's going to take me $871 of buying power. I said it's going to take me. fifteen seventy-five. Let's do two of those. Ta-da, where he is. So there's my naked. There's my naked. So where do I like to now go? and put in my other ones, I kind of like to go uh, closest to 45 without going over. Now, y'all, you know, you're going to have to figure out where your sweet spot is. Just because Bobby is saying, here's my rule. My new rule is go closest to 90 without going over. And then my new rule on the put debit spread is closest to 45 without going over. So let's go to 38 days. Let's do a long put rule. Maybe that could go. And I wish I'd remember those stripes. I went just right down to where I needed to go. Heck, nab it. Instead of getting hung and all this stuff, and all this minefield, unbelievable. Look at this. 3860. There's $10. Let's go to 3840. 3890. Okay. <clears throat> so here, there we are. Now, it looks like I'm long a put here, right? 
So that's what really freaks me out is I don't want to be long where I'm short and short where I'm long. <sighs> Thinking, Bob, what are you going to do here? What are you going to do? Now, this is where some of y'all say, okay, Bobby, just make them 30 wide, right? Uh, which we could. I guess we could do the 3,900. 38.50, that's going to be messed up. So this one, y'all would say, okay, Bobby, go do this. Right? The 38. Now, here's one I could do. Watch, I could do this. I could buy the 39.10 where I'm already long one, and I could sell the 38.60 where I'm already short one. I can do that. Now, I'm paying a little more money for it than I want to, but that's fine. You know, it'll give me my protection. Pay a little more on insurance. Oh. There we are. All right, so we could do that. I'm perfectly fine with that. All right. Yeah, yeah, you need to go back to like school. I mean, your commas mean a lot, y'all. Uh, because I was sitting there going, you know, it's calling me stupid today. So commas mean a lot. All right, so we're done there. Let's move him over to the side. Now, a lot of people overdo commas. I admit you can overdo a comma. So let's go from this count. Anyone got a question about this count? And for all you freaks out there that say the account's not making money, oh yes, it is. Okay, but, 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 but you're underperforming. I don't know why I have to explain to myself. I, you know what? Screw it. I ain't explaining myself to nobody. We're up 5.35%. Yeah, but Bobby, the market's up to, hey, hey, hey. Stop on yourself. All right. I'll take 5.35% any day of the week. All right, so let's go get our, uh, what do you call, crimson account. Let's see how we're doing here. Should be printing money, y'all. Bobby, you've only made, I ain't going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. All right, today's the 24, or the 14. So let's put in our little profit for today. Unbelievable. So over here, let's see, we are at, where's my net leg here? It's net leg is 27,693. 27,693. 27693. So we're up $42 today, which means we're, you know, collecting the theta that we thought we would collect. Here we go. Ba 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 ba. Let me fix all these here. 22. All right. So here's the 14th. So let's put our little uh, little little Greek symmetrics in. Oh, and I forgot to buy my treasury bills last night. So I freaked out this morning. I'm going, I'm going to mess my ladder up. So I got the order in this morning. So if y'all forgot yesterday was T-Bill Tuesday. we got to remember that. Y'all got to remind me that. T-Bill Tuesday. T-Bill Tuesday. I bought my T-Bills yesterday. So we're at 10 and 29. So let's go 10, 29, 10, and 29. Mm -hmm. So we're barely there, y'all, keeping enough gas in the tank. And our buying power, oh, isn't this a great problem? Look, our things just auto-correct almost, 84.31. It is. What a beautiful problem. 84.31, oh, Bob. Oh, Bob, oh, Bob. Look at that. 30.44%. I could be as high as 30. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know how you can do any better than what we do with these accounts. This is great. So why don't we do the same thing in this account? Let's put us on a trade. We're not waiting for, for old people to come out and tell us what they think about the economy. We just want to do our stuff because we don't give a flip what old people say about the economy. Right, where did I say I'm going? Oh, I'm going here 76. And I'm going to sell the, where was it? I'm going to sell the, I said, I'm going to sell the, there it is, the 3,400. 3,400. There we go. 3,400. fifty. We'll move him up to the mid price if we can get 16. Do two of them. Cha chunk, cha chunk. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 
375, and we should get in. Give me in, baby. There we go, 1575, 3400, 1575. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my spreadsheet. Uh, let's do here. Hey, wait a minute. How come, I thought I had this color yesterday. I did, didn't I? Not, give me yes. So let's do two. And remember, until I get a full complement of these and get everything else closed out, I'm going to start calling them next put uh, diagonal for you, right? So that eventually I won't have to put the D in there anymore when I get all these things closed down. So that was the 3,400. And we came at him at a put, 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 naked, naked at, uh, how many days is that? 70 something. That's not it. 76. For 1575, 76 for 1575, 76, 1575. All right? And we come at him on the 14th. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. $154 of pure, pure, pure good money. All right, then we're going to do the put debit spray. Yes. I'm going to do one, one tranches. And we'll call him PDS D40. And we're going to go in at the 3910, And remember, some of y'all are not even recording your trades. That's fine. You don't have to. I like looking at the statistics because I am a nerd. And it means something to me to go back at the end of the year and look at some of these statistics. So where we're going to go is we're going to go to the 37 days, closest to 45 without going over. And we're going to do the 3910, 3860. 3910. 3860. So here we go. 3910. We're going to buy him where I've already bought one and sell the 3860. Uh-huh. 75. Boom. Let's just go put it back in here. 1075. Ah, oh, forget the days. 30 something. 36. Why that does that? 37. 37. 37. At 1075. Beautiful. In the year of our Lord, 1214. All right. <clears> hey, <throat> okay. look at us. So now one thing I hadn't done in a couple of days since we hadn't been trading a lot is I hadn't put my things into their groups. So let's go put them in their groups and put like. So got all the T-bills that Ed's guy said. All right, unallocated. Look at this, y'all. I'm going to move him to the T-bill group. Get in there, baby. I'm going to take all this naked stuff and put him in the nakeds. So you go to the naked. When you go to the nakeds, the land of the nakeds, and you all go into the put damage spreads. So we can take a look at y'all if we need to and see how you do it. Move to great put damage spreads. But there we go. Look at that. All right. So I know some of y'all like saying, Bobby, you need to take off this two day risk. You got, you got six days of exposure. Or, I mean, two days of exposure. I'm not worried about those, really. I'm really not. Especially now that my Greeks are all in order. I don't have to close anything. It is my prerogative, which would be a great name for a song. All right. So this looks good. My account looks really, really good. And we may come back and do a little analysis, but let's just see how we're doing so far, shall we? Let's just, let's just take a little bit of time. Uh, to see how we're doing here. So we've got this cool little spreadsheet built over here that tells us that we're up we're, during the same market period as that. We're only up 0.48. We know we should be up this, but this includes the dumb trade. So let's just see if this thing's giving us any good information over here yet. So, so far this year, or for this month, our profit is $214, and it looks like we've had data capture of 45% so far. 
Okay. Everything's fine. We started at 27,479 this month, and right now we're at 27,693. Okay, that's good. So we're about halfway down. So if we were to extrapolate, we should figure out that we, if we keep on going, then we can make, you know, $418 this month. Let's see how we're doing. $418 this month, divided by what we started the month at, and we started at 27. 479, we would be at one and a half percent a month times 12. Even though this is a, a, a little bit slower month than our previous two months, I could still love an 18% return after commissions. I'm fine with that because so everything is looking really, 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 really good. All right, really, really, really good. All right, so let's go. And remember, the less you fidget with an account, the better off you're going to do. For example, even now, in the Tasty account, what's this, y'all? I fidget less with this one than I do any account. This is the one. This is the, the top performer. Let's see how it's looking. Let's go back and get some statistics on it. So we go over to TastyWorks account and we go, okay, how we do it over here? So here we're up profits of four hundred fifty-four dollars. All right. Let's put the four fifty-four seventy-one. We double that times two gives us 909 profit. And we started with, how come I didn't put my starting stuff in there? Well, but let's see what we started with. We started with at this point. So that'd be that 36,827 divided by 36,827. 827 is 2.4%. 2.5%. See how. I'm telling you, and Ken will back me up on this, the less you play and try to be cute with these things, the better they perform. So we are between 1.8 and 2.5% this month. Well, and of course, that's, we're just, you know, that's kind of like we're Kenny Rogers sitting at the table and we're counting our money while you're sitting at the table, which you're not supposed to do. But I kind of like looking at it just to see, you know, Hey, this count does better. Why? Well, commissions may be a little bit lower over here. Plus, uh, I hadn't been as cute over here, right? This count, I don't be cute in this one because the recording and keeping up with everything and the other one really hinders me a bit. Don't over fiddle with your count. Don't over, uh, don't overthink it. Well, I need to close this. Well, I need, best thing you can do is do nothing. Do flat nothing. All right, so let's see our final account. See how we're doing over here. And that one is this one. This one. Oh, while I'm here, though, let me put stuff in its place. This one. Look at this, y'all. Move to group. Go to the T-bill group. Let's put my naked with my naked. You're a naked. You're a naked. Uh oh, I said you're a naked. You're a naked. Wouldn't you like to be a naked too? Naked pepper. All right, move to group. Naked puts. These are all put debit spreads. Move to group. Debit spreads. There we go. All right, let's see how we're doing over here. This account, we are at, look at this baby, 1063, 106329. 106.329. 106.329. Y'all know what that means. We are well, we're moving on now. We're moving on now. To the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. Yes, hallelujah. So now, this is kind of cool, right? So if we're up $117 today, you would expect us to be up the amount of our theta. How much is our theta? $102. That is cool, right? That is kind of cool. That's what we want to see right there. Let's go check these. There we go. So let's get, well, yeah. Now let's get our Greeks and the ratios. Greeks and the ratios. So we are at. 28, say, and 
2887. 2887. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rut roll, Shaggy. I am definitely blue today. Am I blue for you? Yes. So let's go in 28882. Is our fine power? 28882. There we go. I'm at 27%. Could be at 35. I am blue, blue, blue. So what old sweet body's going to do is, you know, I hate doing it on an update, but I've got to keep gas in the tank. We gotta keep gas in the tank. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a uh, a two lotter. Let's go over here and get our trades. So we'll go to the crimson count and get our trades here. So we're gonna go create duplicate order. Right? And I'm gonna go to let's unlock that, and see what it looks like. Oh no. Oh be still. So I'm gonna do four of these. I'm going to double my tranches and we're going to put it in the right account, this account. Feel me, baby. There we go. 14 and 15 75. So we'll go back to the crimson account and we'll get that other order over here. And we'll go create the duplicate order. Now, here we go. Let's pay less for that. 10 50. And we're going to do a double batch of those at 1050 and we're going to put it in the right account and send it baby I said and send it baby yeah and I, I see what you're saying Ken right Ken said yeah true that's why he has one account that he can fidget experiment with now, you always want to keep one if you got multiples that's your fidget account, right? How you can try new things, you can try new stuff. And it's it's fun to do that. So, you know, and then the one that you don't fidget with, though, I promise you, you're going to find out it's going to outperform the uh, the other. So let's see. We got fields here for let's see. Everything was the same, right? Ten fifty. And wait a minute, here's still. Wait a minute, what the crap is this? Hmm. Point the devil. Why is that working? I can't see right here. Huh. 1075, 1575. Is that what I got filled in the other one? 10, 1575, 1575. Where's my spreadsheet? Trades. 1075, 1075, yes. So what you can do is you can do this, right? You can copy and paste. I don't want to copy those formulas, though. So I'll just go Control C. And then we'll go to the right spreadsheet here. And then we'll go on the trades. Now there's where I did my little cutie stuff. Now look at that. So we said 1575 and 1050. 15, 75, 10, 6, 7. Ta da! Shazam! Do I want to make those blue too? I don't know. I, I think I'll just leave this blue and know that everything down from this point forward is going to be there. I'll just I don't have too much stuff. Oh, let's look at our little hedges. Well, you got some sweet Bobby hedges. Let's, after these two big run up days, we might could fill some hedges here. Now, thing is, in this account, do I need to fill a hedge? Do I need to buy stuff? That's the cool thing, right? So let's just see. So here, let's see if I can make heads or tails of what I got here. So I got a 3400, 3350, and they're in two expirations. Okay. And then I bought a, I sold a 3720 at uh, $30. Okay, so let's go to the calculator. I don't think I have it in this one yet. $37.20, I sold it for $30. No, I don't. Let's go put that in. $37.20 for $30. Okay, that's 20 Here we go. So, well, I do have it in the other one. What am I talking about? Use the wrong calculator. So if I sold one for $30, and I'm going to harvest it at 94%, which would be 100, 
or dollar eighty, then if I could buy the ones that are below it for thirteen dollars, I would end up with a trade that will make me five dollars and twelve cents after everything gets harvested. So I would be looking to buy something at thirteen or lower. Well, let's see what that looks like. So again, let's go back to my trades to find my gauge. So we're looking at the one that is 48 days, the 3720. Let's go find that. Very well, maybe I could put a hedge on before the FOMC. Let me say 48 days, the 3720. Wouldn't surprise me at all if we'll be able to fill this. 3720. There she is. Hello. So let's go to the 36, 70, no, not yet. Still holding on to it. 3720 is at 25, 3670 is at 20. I'm waiting for that to get down to 13. And that's fine. I don't really need it, right? Because I don't need it today because my numbers are so, so sweet right now, right? I don't have enough, you know, if I, if I were to buy an option, what's that going to do with my theta? It's going to kill my theta. Now, what did my theta go up to? Let's just kind of look and see what my theta went up to in this one after putting this new trade on today. So my theta is now at 94, whereas it was 87. That's the progress Oh Sweet Bobby wants to see, right? That's the progress I want to see. So, you know, your job, your job and my job is to keep enough gas in the tank so that we make the money. Because over here, you and I doing just the one, one, one trade, even though we've done them all different kind of ways. So we've made after commissions $9,577.43. That's beautiful, y'all. Just beautiful. We're up 4.56%, where the market's down 10%. Well, Bobby, 9,000 divided by 100,000 should be about 10%. I got you. We know the reason why it's those dumb trades that we don't do anymore. So over here, if we're kind of extrapolating out, right now we've got $597 of profit halfway through the month. So if we could double that, we're looking at maybe making this time $1,194 this month. That's enough to send me and the family to Applebee's a few times. Right? $1,194 divided by what we started the month with, which is $105,732. One oh five seven three two equals one point one two percent, and this has always been the account that underperforms because it's hard. I, I think it's probably hard because so many times I'll do one tranches instead of two. Oh, I need to change that too. We did two tranches today, didn't we? So we did four of those. Yeah, and two of those. There we go. That's a man, Bobby. Way to way to step up to the plate, my boy, and put some damage in there. And again, what told me I needed to do that? This thing. It told me that, hey, you went from 0.12 to 0.10 to 0.08, Bob. The market's running away, and you can't keep enough gas in the tank. You got plenty of buying power to put more trades on. Do it. Just do it. And that's what I did, keeping gas in the tank. Isn't this beautiful, though? So, you know, um, yeah, and I think this is a safe and conservative way that you could make, you know, 10, 12 percent a year if you're really conservative and you want to be conservative, like we're doing in this account, not intentionally. But uh, I think we can do far better than that if you really keep your foot on the pedal and, you know, be willing to increase those trades. And, and on this one, you know, there are probably times I need to do three tranches or four tranches of the micros to keep enough gas in the tank. And I probably need to be more, you know, that's why we do these little analysis things. I need to go, you know, there are times that I need to keep a little more gas in the tank, you know, and, and this is a good thing to say, push it, Bobby, push it a little bit. Again, if you are trading my mom's money, here's what I'd say. If you trade my mom's money, you better try to keep it around 0.1. Don't you be going up to, See, I mean, when's the last time I was over points? Look, 0.12. You don't trade my mom's money at 0.2 theta, right? If you trade your mom's money and she's, you know, going to cut you out of the wheel, 
if you underperform, you don't get up in this area. You keep it in this little blue area. I right? keep my mom's money real conservative. Real conservative. But I don't have to be conservative, right? I can push it. I can push it. I'm in a position that I can push, 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 push. Because I make $100 a month on YouTube. I know. I hate to brag in front of everybody. I hate for y'all to be envious that my YouTube channel is so successful. All right. Stacy, do you think you will step up to ES in the bigger camp? And because now I am in the power of the positivity, the mindset. Jesus says, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Right? So he doesn't want little Bobby to, you know, to, to, to just work from a principle of scarcity. He wants me to work from a principle of abundance. Then I'm going to tell you, Stacey, yes, that is the plan. We will be doing ES in this account at some point. And it could be next year. Could be next year. So, or maybe the year after. I fully intend that our 2023 is going to be a fantastic year. As long as, what? As long as I don't tinker. As long as I don't abandon the strategy. You have a couple bad days with the 112s, and that could be all she wrote. Right? You know, before my focus goes to something else. And now that I'm not as focused, because Beth won't let me take my Adderall because she thinks I'm a psychopath and she thinks everybody in our community thinks I'm a psychopath. And sure, I see people in the Piggly Wiggly kind of hiding their kids when I come down the aisle. I understand. Hey, I'm a loose wire. So we understand that uh, there's a very good chance that I lose focus. I just can't do that, right? I've got to, y'all, and y'all gonna have to help me. Y'all gonna have to help me not to lose my focus. You got to keep the focus. And what's the focus? Focus is, I don't think I'm ever going to do another one, one, one. Huh, listen to me. Did y'all hear that? I don't think I'm ever going to do another one, one, one trade. I think because we had a couple that in this bear market that we had to put in problem child status, I think I would rather go into the bunker less often. How do you go into the bunker less often? You just double the amount of your puts and sell them farther away from money. Bobby, you're increasing your notional uh, exposure there, your notional risk. I got it. But at the same time, I'm eliminating my problem child status of a naked put going into the money. I like that better. I think the 112 is superior to the 111, especially in volatile markets. Now, now I may change my mind when when things are not as volatile, but I don't think so. I think I almost do the one one two. And the 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 current plan now is to diagonalize these, calendarize these, whatever we're calling it, and do the turbo one one two. Whereas we're making it safer out farther. Right. And what we're gonna do is for all those of you that are like, I'm not holding something to the expiration deck. I, I got the gamma risk. That solves that problem for me. Because by selling it closer to 90 days out, now you can go the full ride of 60 days, close it at 30 days, and eliminate that gamma risk. This ought to be up y'all's out. Everybody that said, Bobby, don't hold these things to expiration, that ought to take care of every one of you. Because now we're going to sell further out. And now you can say, hey, I'm going to go the tasty way. Oh, by the way, I do not like this rebranding of Tasty Live. It has been Tasty Trade to me for 12 years. And now we're going Tasty Live? No, I don't, I don't buy it. Something's up. There's a lawsuit or something because they've got trade in their name that they're recommending trade. Something's up. There's something. I, I just like to ask Tom off the record. You know, Tom, listen. Did someone sue you because you got trade in your name? What's the problem? Why are we going to Tasty Live? There, there's some issue with that. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. It disturbs my spirit. That's like we go from Trader Nerds and we change our name to Live Nerds. What the, huh? What? what? Live Nerds? It's crap. It's Tasty Trade. It's not a Tasty Live. Unbelievable. And the first thing they did is they changed their cherry up. Okay, you change your cherry. That's fine. I got no problem with changing the cherry, but you're changing the whole name of your whole little company? I don't like it. Did not we learn from Facebook 
We're going to change Facebook to Meta. How many of y'all call Facebook Meta? Nobody. Nobody. Now, that's why my mama, she'd say, little Bobby, uh, let's go to Sears and Roebuck. And I go, where? She says, you know, Sears and Roebuck. I mean, you mean Sears, my mom? They don't call it Sears and Roebuck no more. And I didn't understand that my mama wanted to call Roebuck's name every time she said Sears. And that's because my mama had to go to the outhouse and wipe her butt with the Sears and Roebuck catalog because that's what they used it for. They didn't have toilet paper back in the day. You used, you know, a burlap sack, then you wash it, you know, so the next person could, could go, or you use the big old uh, Sears and Roebuck catalog. So, quite frankly, my mom was, you know, had sentimental attachment, so to speak, with Roebuck, because Roebuck kept her through some difficult situations, got into, and I don't want to brag either, but my mom had a two-seater outhouse. I mean, a lot of the people in the area I would only have a one seater. Mama had a two seater. So, you know, hey, you know, I think my affluence started way back then. And did I ever use the outhouse? Oh, heck yeah. I loved it. Going out there to the old outhouse, it was dark in there. Had to make sure there was no wasp nests in there, bees. And, uh, you know, and the cool thing is the seat, they didn't cut them around. It was a diamond shape for those of you that have used an outhouse. Now, some of y'all may have sit on squares. Ours was not square. My mom had a kind of a nice one, and they were diamond shapes. It's very cool. So you sit on your little diamond. You sit in there with your Sears and Roebuck catalog, and if you left the door open, you'd have enough light to read part of the catalog. When you got finished, you'd rip a page out and, you know, uh, donate it to uh, donate it to the, the greater good of the community. It's very good. Yeah, Montgomery War. Yeah, y'all remember that, right? All that's good stuff. Montgomery, Ward, Sears. Y'all, you could buy a whole house out of Sears catalog. I mean, a whole house. There's still houses that are standing today from Sears catalog. And I've talked about this a lot. Had Sears pivoted to the digital age, Sears would be Amazon today. Sears was the Amazon of the 20th century. That's what Sears was. Sears was a... I mean, they were the, the force to be reckoned with. You bought everything at Sears. Sears was stuff. I mean, and had they converted to digital, they would have been in the position where Amazon is today. Amazon got its start from Sears. That's what it was. Hey, we'll sell you a little bit of anything. It don't matter what it is. And here's our catalog. And the cool thing is Amazon put their catalog online. Now, Sears catalogs online, but they can't compete. They were not first to market with that and they lost positioning. But had they pivoted to digital first, we would be talking about Sears today. But now you go by Sears in the mall and they're all closed, which is really, really sad. Yep, they missed it. Walmart's doing a good job of that. Yeah, Walmart's doing a good job of that too, except I go into Walmart, and remember I nearly got in a fight with a little dude in Walmart the other day. Again, I've got mental issues. I've got personality problems. So, you know, they want me to self-check out, but then they don't trust me that I did the right job. So then they want to receive my receipt on the way out. Now, I don't want to show you my receipt after I just did your job of checking myself out. So I got ticked off the other day because I'm going out the door and Beth's like, Bobby, Bobby, they won't let us come out because we're there. And I said, hey, baby, deal with it. We did the job. They ought to trust us to do the job. And so then I have to run back in and, you know, just you know, throw the receipt up there. Here it is. Check it. Because I checked myself out. you got cameras on me. You don't believe I did it right. Then, you know, chase me down. I'm not hard. You can chase me down in a Walmart parking lot. I am not fast. I am slow. I am obese. You can catch me. It's not like I'm trying to run away from it. But I think I'm as good of a cashier as anybody at Walmart. So don't then ask me to check my receipt as I'm going out. Oh, heck no. Why don't we fire that person too? Well, how about this? Why don't you hire me to greet myself when I go into Walmart? Well, hello, Dr. Gaines. Welcome to Walmart. How you doing today? You know, I'll say that to myself. And then when I go out, let me check my own receipt. How about this? Put a camera on me checking my own receipt as I go out. So then you won't even have to hire that person. And if you ever go to Walmart 
and you catch somebody on break that works there, nine times out of 10, if you say, excuse me, do you know where the, the cat food is? Has this ever happened to y'all? It has me. Excuse me, do you know where the cat food is? And one of the Walmart associates that was off on break, they said, I'm sorry, I'm on my break. Hell, I didn't ask you if you was on your break. I asked you where the cat food is. I mean, it's almost like we forgot that we can be good human beings to each other because uh, I'm on my break. Hey, I just want to know where the cat food is so that my cat don't, you know, die, you know, choking on a hairball because he doesn't have his nine lives or his little friskies. Jeez. I mean, come on, people. Well, I'm sorry. I'm on my break. Unbelievable. Where have we become? You need Amazon Go Store. What the crap is that, Brett? <laughs> see, look, Brett teases me with something that he's look. See, Brett, this is what this is what I did with all of y'all today, talking about the you know my mama had a two seater outhouse. You know, you're bragging. You know, he says you need an Amazon Go Store, but that's only for San Francisco, and New York City. Hell, like I'm going to go in um, to New York City or San Francisco for an Amazon Go Store. Unbelievable. Oh, that's the store where you put it in your cart and it automatically checks you out, right? You you, you run out like you are a shoplifter and, you know, you just leave the store. Oh, by the way, did y'all hear that Walmart is having to close some of its stores due to theft? Well, let's evaluate why. All you got to do is let one of us know that somebody's stealing something and I'll run them down, right? I'm the person that knocks people to the ground. I'll, I'll hold them down to y'all. But you can't do that. No, no, no. You can't do that because, you know, we may get sued or we'll fire the associate that tracks somebody down out in the parking lot. You can't chase them. You know, we've just become such pansies in this country. Uh, you can't stop a shoplifter. So what you do is you take your little picture and next thing you know, we're all sharing it on Facebook. Do you recognize this couple, the Carrollton Police Department? Do you recognize this couple that walked out with a 52-inch TV out of Walmart? And then we have to arrest them that way. And the police have to go to their house and get them. That, that's no fun. Hey, as soon as you see them walking out without paying, if you'll scream, hey, they're stealing the TV, I and about 20 other bubbas will jump them right there in the Walmart. We will knock them to the ground and we will get your TV back. But no, we're such pansies. We got to let them go out. Then we got to take their picture. Then we got to escort them to their house until we find out who they are. And then share it on Facebook, and then we'll we'll go track them down. Unbelievable. I mean, y'all, come on. Come on. Yeah, I live in the suburbs of the sticks. That's exactly right. I mean, look, I got two mattresses out in my front yard right now. It's been here for two months. You know why they're out there? Because I took them out there because this old boy said that he'd take them off. Remember the guy that was on meth, Chris Rogers? And next thing you know, I'm looking at the, you know, everybody that gets arrested in our county. They got a Facebook page that shows everybody. Guess where he's at? He's in the old jail. And he promised me he would come back and get those mattresses out of my yard. So they're still in the front yard to this day. Now, Bobby, why don't you take them off? Because what am I going to do? Put them on top of a Nissan road and go down the street? With my, no, he told me he's coming. And by gosh, when he gets out of jail, that meth head is coming to get my mattresses one way or the other. One way or the other. But it's like, Bobby, please get them out of the yard. I said, why? Can't nobody see it? We live out here for no ain't nobody. Ain't nobody out here. But me, my chickens, my pigs, my goats. Mm -mm -mm. Unbelievable. All right, you got any questions about anything? The Turbo 112, ain't it a great truck?